Alright guys, today we're doing a video about batteries and uh, what the numbers mean on them and everything and basically what kind of batteries you want to run in your car. It should be kind of a long video going over charging and safety of LiPos and nickel metal batteries. So, um, hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so we're going to start with LiPos and uh, basically a LiPo has a few things different from nickel metal besides the actual chemical composition of a LiPo. Um, for one, there's two cells in this, and in this, there's eight cells. Basically, there's more options for cells, like you have a, a three-cell LiPo right here. Basically, the, the tracks of Slash runs a two- or three-cell LiPo. So that's basically what this is. Um, this has a, a lot more options, though. You can run as low as, I think, six on this and up to nine. But the packs are a lot smaller. But, I mean, they, this is still a 3,000 milliamp battery, and all my batteries are 5,000 milliamp. Basically, a milliamp is like the capacity, I'm pretty sure, I, and then the C is like the discharge rate. So it's how fast does the battery drain, or how fast can you access your power. So that's C rating, and that's capacity, basically. The way to find, there's like a, a formula for how to find a amperage that your battery can handle, or that your battery can charge at. Like... I think you, it's just you put a decimal right right here so it's five amps on this battery and then like for this it's three amps on this battery because it's three thousandths of three point oh so that's three amps i'm pretty sure that's it that's how i've always charged mine and um that's basically what a lipo is also the voltage is different too this is 7.4 volts i think that's equivalent to a six cell nickel metal hydrate and this i think this is 9.6 volts on the yeah, 9.6 volts on this. No, it's gonna focus. Maybe. So that's 9.6 volts. But I mean, the cell the cell count on a lipo and a nickel metal is different. And um, the good things about lipos is it's 100% power throughout the whole use of the battery. So that means if you're fully charged, you're gonna be fully charged throughout your whole run until you hit low voltage cutoff. And that's when your voltage drops. Each of these cells holds 4.2 volts. And I mean, 7.4 volts is like a rough estimate. And it's not really a rough estimate, but 4.2 volts is what this is fully charged at, and that's each cell. I have a cell count tool. I don't know where it is right now. I'll try and find that before the video ends. But um, basically, if your cells are unbalanced too, like if one's 4.2 and one's like 3.6, there's something wrong with your battery, like it's not charging right, or one cell's dead. And um, basically, that's what it is for a LiPo. And um, basically... When you charge these, there's risk if of overcharging. If you overcharge, your battery can swell, which is what we have here is a swollen battery. And it smells bad, and it looks bad, and it's scary because it can take your whole garage down in one go about because it can light on fire. If you puncture these things, they'll catch the fumes will spray everywhere and they'll light on fire because they get hella hot and shit. And it's, that's, that's the downside of LiPos is you run a risk of having that if you're not safe with it. Another safety thing for a LiPo is a flame-proof bag. Um, these, from what I understand, they keep most of the, they keep the flames in, but the fumes still spray out, like, the corners here, the fumes can still come out. But I've kept my batteries in these. I have one more of this, of these. And um, these are, it's just like 15 bucks, and I can keep four batteries in here. I don't like to do it, because if one battery blows up, I, I'm afraid, like, three more are going to catch on fire with it. But, uh, so those are lipos. I mean, the good thing is they hold charge. They they last. I mean, a little bit longer than this battery. I think we have some five thousand eight cells, but they last a little bit longer than this. This lasts about thirty to thirty five minutes. This is maybe forty max, forty five on like a good day. Another thing that I've had with lipos is in the cold. These batteries don't like to work that well. These batteries run out of battery really fast, or my ESC will go into low voltage mode just when it's cold. I don't really like like that because I think I'm gonna get some uh, some nickel metals for the winter just because of that but other than that on a good day these things do great they have a lot of power and they keep your car going throughout the whole range unlike a nickel metal which basically which basically just progressively gets slower until you can kinda see that your car is going slow enough to where you know your battery's kinda dead but these these are also a lot more cost efficient these for someone who's just getting in the hobby you can buy uh, probably like two or three of these for, I mean, I think two, two of these equal to one of these price-wise, 
and then maybe three of these equal to one of these as a three cell. Because, I mean, as you go up in cell count and milliamp count and C rating, your prices also get higher. So, this this is a $68 battery, but like this is a $54, $54 battery. And as you go up, because this is a 25C, this is probably 15 bucks cheaper than this because this is a 40C. <laughs> Sorry, it's a cool car. But, uh, ooh, that's a six cylinder if I've ever seen one. <laughs> but, uh, basically, I mean, as price price goes up with the, the rating of the battery, basically. So, a three cell of basically equivalent C ratings, milliamp ratings, is gonna be 20 bucks higher, <laughs> 20 bucks higher than, uh, than a two cell. Just about. And But these also have good warranty. This is a year long warranty. And once the year is over, um, you have a 30% discount for redeeming it, and that's just for Venom. I don't know what other policies are. I got this battery used when I bought a car, but uh, that's for Venom, and I've used their policy. They're really good. I I recommend Venom because these are Venom batteries too. They're pretty cost efficient. Their warranties are great. Um, it's a, a common brand, so you're not really running out of like like uncharted territory. You're not getting an eBay battery that lights on fire and you have no one to call because your garage is on fire and now you're you're kind of SOL because you bought a Chinese battery you can't read it. that's that's just my recommendation like go with the name brand because it just it's just safer I think <laughs> so basically that's lipos um nickel metals are a lot safer I mean we've lit some of these on fire <laughs> in our in our in our days before just because we've had ESCs that caught on fire and we hooked these up because they're cheaper and we have old ones Hey, hey, wait, right now, roll the clip of that. Stop, stop. Stop, stop. Stump. Oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> Too bad, dude. Too bad. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, shit. Cole, get out of the house. 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 All right. So, yeah, these. Who? So, we light these on fire because they're cheaper and we have old ones. But, um. We're gonna light this one on fire soon too, cause it's it's swollen. So we're just gonna go down and puncture it, and we'll have that on a video hopefully. And uh, that's basically the batteries and how to keep a lipo safe. And that's basically what a lipo is. So now we're gonna go into some chargers. This is a lipo only charger. I bought this charger for sixty bucks, I think, but it's like a hundred twenty brand new. I bought it used, and it still works and everything. But cause I bought it from a like a it was an Instagram page. I forgot what it's called. It works at a hobby store. And uh, this charger is really nice because it has it has dual capacity, so you can charge two batteries at once, and it's lipo only. I think it's lipo and maybe LIFE, but uh, basically there's that. You can charge two at once. You don't really have to program it and all that. You can just plug and plug it in and kind of hit start. But, I mean, there is settings that you hit like how many, I think, what the C rating is or something. But that's basically all there is to charging. Besides the fact that if you overcharge the lipo, you will swell it, and if you swell it, you basically can't run it. But I mean, you can, but it's dangerous because if it punctures, it's going everywhere. I mean, same with just a standard lipo, but swollen ones just aren't safe to run. And this is another one that can charge. I think that's lipo only still. No, there's, no, this can charge. Uh, this can charge all all the battery types. I mean, there's a lot of battery types, but we're kind of going over the two main ones. But this one you can program, you can save batteries onto this one, and I mean you can you can uh, save like a battery in the data. So you can save like five batteries in here. So I have like all my two cells and stuff saved in here, and I can just hit change and go up and down. And this I really recommend these Onyx chargers because they're pretty reliable. We have some smaller ones too, like some one one fifteens I think, some one one twenties that are uh, these are nickel metal. But I mean, and they're cheap, they're cost efficient, and they work great. Yeah, four to eight cell nickel metal batteries and NICAB batteries. And these chargers are like, they're cost efficient. You can use them in the field because they have alligator clips. And uh, they're really just pretty nice and cost efficient. I've never actually used another charger besides the Venom one. And that broke on me. Like, the plug won't like get good connection. So I recommend Onyx and the batteries Venom. <clears throat> but uh, that's about what there is to charge it. I think I was going to say something else. But yeah, that, I was going to go over the alligator clips. So these are really good because if we go driving at a lake, we don't really have access. I don't, I don't want to bring a generator. So I'll bring an old car battery 
and I'll twist some some wire around the leads, and I'll just clip these to the leads. And it, it, I mean, it charges my battery just fine. Like same amount of time as if it was a wall outlet. And I mean, it just I think they have internal breakers if you over like over overrun it with voltage. I think they have internal breakers or a fuse in there, something that's gonna go before the charger blows up. <laughs> but uh, that's about what there is to to charging. I, well, I take that back again. Um, another thing, this charger doesn't have a balance lead for a LiPo. For a LiPo, the balance lead, it tells you how much each cell has independently. And for some chargers, here, let's see if it'll focus. Yeah, there you go. For some chargers, it doesn't have them. Like, this one doesn't have it, but I think it has internal balancing. Yeah, this is, and uh, this one does, though. This This keeps each cell at 4.2 volts give or take 0.1 volts it'll keep this battery within its safety range if they get too th thrown too far off then um it's it's kind of gonna screw your battery up you can't use it and it's running the risk of blowing up again all right i'm out of breath <clears throat> one second let me and then here's another thing is a lot of brands use different connectors so here's a traxxas to dean's connector because i have an axial and it has a stock ESC, but I use Traxxas connectors on all my batteries because it's like the common connector that I have. But you want to use like high capacity. This one's kind of a turd because I hop or like shrink wrapped it together and kinked it together and stuff, but it works. I mean, you want to use the name brand stuff. You can't really just jerry two wires together and kind of call it good. But I mean, there's adapters. This is kind of a universal, universal plug here, and they clip into there. But uh, adapters are pretty cheap, and you want to use good ones so they can handle the current that your batteries, your chargers are putting out. But um, that's about all there is to batteries. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, please like it and subscribe. Links for products like the bag, um, the chargers, the batteries will be down in the description below if you guys want to check those out. And... If you guys want to see any video video ideas you guys want us to do or explain for you guys, we're more than happy to do it. And yeah, that's it for now, guys.